in one of the most dramatic moments of media change in human history. For media studies to sit that out and talk among ourselves would be a failure of the utmost degree. In any sphere of life, the media have become increasingly relevant, whether it's to education, to work, to politics, to community life, to globalization. The media play a role in all of those different areas of activity. In the 10 years since the Department of Media and Communications has set up, we see uh, a dramatic crisis in half of this period that has really oriented people to different kinds of issues around political communication and participation around public understanding of things like the economy. We see a set of new social movements that have engaged people. The last 10 years has been in media studies has been really characterized by the pull and push of both utopian and dystopian visions of what digital media means within our culture. You know, is it a surveillance technology? Is it commodifying in a neoliberal sense? Or is it, in fact, a democratic technology, a diversifying technology, a technology of participation? I think one of the tricks that this department has pulled off in the last 10 years, which is that really difficult thing of how on earth do you describe media and communication studies? And we've said, well, don't try too hard to limit how you describe it. Bring in lots of disciplinary approaches, bring in lots of geographical approaches as well, uh, bring in lots of different people. Uh, and I think that, in a way, has enabled us to respond, if you like, to the sort of plurality in the media world. But there is a sense that that's constantly a tension, a kind of uh, centrifugal force, if you like, that intellectually is throwing us away from uh, a common approach. But I like that tension. And I think it's a very, very creative way to work. The program that we started was actually being coordinated out of sociology 13 years ago with Roger Silverstone, and so the transformation's been enormous. Uh, they didn't have uh, a department at that point in time. Uh, they formed a department of media and communication, and that program has grown in you know ways that are. Fantastic. Media studies or communication studies have always been interdisciplinary um, and, and because of that we were ahead of the game. So in a way it was something that identified our field and now other, other fields are kind of following us. In the last 10 years what's been happening is that it, the reverse has been happening, that, that our field media communication has gone back and almost recolonized all the other fields. So now you have really exciting research happening in anthropology, sociology, psychology that is obviously inspired by media studies. And, and I think that, that is testament to the significance of media in our lives. The last 10 years has been a period of exciting empirical work and uh, the next 10 years is going to have the challenge of continuing that but actually making more theoretical sense of it, understanding the connections between different parts of what's going on in terms of more integrative theories. I think it's the richness of our field that we are so interdisciplinary and LSC always encourages interdisciplinarity. The exciting part of that is that I think the future of the university is not in disciplines but in networks and I think media studies is perfectly positioned to be the university of the future uh, in the sense that, that it, it weaves itself across so many different disciplines it can articulate itself so uh, coherently both to people's everyday lives as well as to the to main uh, fields of philosophy or theory. When we were studying some of some of the issues that came up then was WikiLeaks, the student protests and then leading into Arab Spring and everything and I think people kept learning in the classroom, but then the minute you stepped out or the minute you checked online or read the newspapers, it was exactly what we were talking about. And I think that's what I really enjoyed about media and communications is that it was always relevant and always changing. I took the global media course back in 2004 and what was really interesting was that globalization was like starting to become a big thing and everybody was talking about it. Nobody was talking about media as like a core force for globalization and, and the, the important role that media had played. I think the Media and Communication Department has already got a good record of moving, of not just producing knowledge for the library shelves, if you like, though ideas are valuable even when they are put on the library shelves. Accessibility doesn't mean dummying down, it means taking ownership over ensuring you give your reader the information they need to understand your argument. It means defining your terms and 
you know, moving from abstraction to concreteness. And I think those are really vital forces. I'm pleased that the Media and Communications Department already makes contributions outside of Academia Polis, for example, is uh, mediating among the world of journalism, the world of academic research, and public understanding. And I think that, that informing and improving the quality of public debates about the media, but also in the media, is going to be a really great contribution.